Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the buy list. So TCG Player has a relatively good buy list and now it is gone. So like I said before, anytime you have options, you definitely want to keep them open. So the more buy list, the healthier the market in my opinion. Uh, even if the buy lists aren't the highest, maybe for one card, one set, it is higher than it is in a different company. But, you know, hey, buy list is definitely super important to have the flexibility to sell when you need to sell. Now, beyond uh, flexibility and buy list, um, TCG Player, it was really cool that all the stores could put out a, a number. And those stores can put out a number and say, you know what, I want this number. I want that number and you can compete. So if you want to use it as an option, that's great. If you don't want to sell it, that's perfectly fine. So Card Kingdom still remains the number one buy list in my opinion. I actually did use TCG Player a lot for buy listing uh, during the pandemic period. A lot of people wanted to sell me their cards and TCG buy list was probably in some cases higher. I always did this like, okay, bring me the highest buy list. So I let you mix and match your buy lists because that's what you probably would have done anyway. And TCG player was a lot higher on newer cards, like the Gold Span Dragon, uh, just because probably there's game stores that actually do play. Yeah, I mean, that's my explanation for it, right? As opposed to Card Kingdom, Card Kingdom's always gonna put the premium, and I think rightfully so, on the older stuff. Uh, the dual lands in particular, really, really nice. Uh, never really had any issues with the dual lands. Um, you're never going to, I mean, everyone wants those, but Card Kingdom has very good prices, in my opinion, on those. So back to the reason that I'm making this video is uh, we're taking a look at various lands and their prices and so on. It's always interesting to look at them, in my personal opinion, because... They go up, they go down, and it's really based on demand. It is heavily based on demand, uh, especially on, on a card kingdom. And that's why I say these people are a lot smarter than me or you and any YouTuber because they have data points that we simply do not have. We do not have the data points uh, like, for instance... Uh, this type of, you know, how many of this sells, what's our player base, what type of decks. They are very optimized. They are incredibly optimized in their ability to sell things and buy things at the correct price unparalleled. That's why I like the buy list. You know, I, I use the buy list to buy stuff. I use the buy list to base it on selling stuff. It's very accurate, in my opinion. Now, the only buy now, when it's a newer company, you might get flayed. So what I learned a little later was, you know, we were using the David Adams buy list for these sealed boxes, and David Adams was paying ridiculous amounts of money for sealed items. Like it would blow your mind how, and and again, I I did lose a good chunk of money, a large, let's call it a large chunk of money from that engagement if you and, and I, you know everyone just used david adams because they were so much higher than everyone else combined card kingdom the buy list you know on foils i've lost a lot of money the buy list on foils i'll be honest but everything else has been pretty okay uh, the dual lands have been relatively okay long term uh, they tend to be you know they tend to go up in price so maybe it's just kind of the products that you buy you have to be a little bit more careful on. So here are the, some prices. Uh, you can see that the Unlimited is going well. The Power 9 is going really well. There's a more focus in the Power 9. Black Lotus is the highest I've ever seen it at, at 13,200 buy list. Now, one thing to make sure that you understand is you're probably not getting 13,200. 13, you are unlikely and very unlikely, in my opinion, to get the full buy list because that's how buy list works. They will nickel and dime you on the condition. I don't do that. You can talk to anyone who sold me a card. I don't do that because I understand these cards are old and you're not going to get like, you're not going to get a perfect card. 
right? You're not going to get a perfect card. It's, you know, it's, it's 30 years old. I mean, what, what type of condition do you think it would be in? I don't really think it will be in the best condition. So my grading is much more fair than I feel like Card Kingdom by quite a bit. So back to the, uh, the buy list. Card Kingdom is what I, I use. It's interesting to see TCG player, and that's definitely not good. You want multiple buy lists. You want them to be competitive. You want them to, and, and it's, a, it's a big deal. TCG player is a big, big deal. It is important to have not just one source or a few sources of buy lists. It is important to have a lot of them. And, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, if you don't have if there's only one dude with a buy list, you're aft, right? They got a monopoly. Anytime somebody has a monopoly, you are aft. Uh, you are going to be in a lot of trouble later on because they're going to, it's kind of like when a Walmart moves in and they give really good prices in the beginning and then suddenly, oh, you know, hey, all these stores are gone. Now let's raise our prices. Basically that in a nutshell, um, in my opinion, yeah, a very interesting buy list. I'm always, I always love looking at this type of stuff. I don't know why it's so cute. And I obviously own all these cards. I don't own that Black Lotus Collector's Edition. I never really got into Collector's Edition. Just uh, didn't, didn't love it, you know? Uh, I don't own that Cradle, but I do own a playset of Candelera. And I remember buying it for like 250 during COVID. And I remember like, like, it was something where like the guy wanted more money. Oh no, hold on! I didn't buy the Candeleras. I, I just have random copies. Diamond Valley. I know I have that card. Pretty cool card. I think it's on the reserve list. I hope it is. <laughs> you know, it's. Oh, also, um, the uh, check out the match quantities. They're very, very important. So not only is the price important, the uh, max quantity is super important as well. Uh, without the max quantity, what is there really to look at, in my opinion? So back to uh, the addressable thing. Um, yeah, sucks. Man, it does suck. TCG player is dead. The oh, TCG buy list is dead. Uh, that's that's not good news for anybody, including myself. I, I don't like that news. But I'm presenting it to you because it is relevant and it's something where um, you definitely need to know before making any decisions of investment. You have to absolutely know where your outs are. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye, guys.